Option 1 Use Diabetes Destroyer Full Review Link in Description Diabetes Destroyer is a step-by-step -step guide that reveals a scientifically tested three-step method that was designed to help you permanently reverse your type 2 diabetes without eating weird-tasting foods, using expensive devices, or doing harsh workouts. According to David Andrews, like you, he was also a type 2 diabetic. diabetic. Option to use the following natural therapy should be discussed with your doctor. Borhenia forficata and Mircea uniflora. Borhenia forficata grows in South America and is used in Brazilian herbal cures. This plant has been referred to as vegetable insulin. Mircea uniflora is also widely employed in South America. Studies utilizing the herbs as tea infusions suggest that their hypoglycemic effects are overrated. Coccinia indica. Coccinia indica is also known as the ivy gourd and grows wild across the Indian subcontinent. Traditionally employed in Ayurvedic remedies, the herb has been found to contain insulin mimetic properties. Significant changes in glycemic control have been reported in studies involving Coccinia indica, and experts believe that it should be studied further. Ficus carica. Ficus carica, or fig leaf, is well known as a diabetic remedy in Spain and southwestern Europe but its active component is unknown. Some studies on animals suggest that fig leaf facilitates glucose uptake. The efficacy of the plant is, however, still yet to be validated in the treatment of diabetes. Ginseng Ginseng is a collective name for a variety of different plant species. In some studies utilizing American ginseng, decreases in fasting blood glucose were reported. Varieties include Korean ginseng, Siberian ginseng, American ginseng and Japanese ginseng. In some fields the plant, particularly the Panax species, are hailed as cure-all. As is the case with many of the herbs employed around the world in the treatment of diabetics, further long-term studies are needed to verify the efficacy of ginseng. Ginnama sylvester. Ginnama sylvester is also employed in traditional Ayurvedic medicine. The plant grows in the tropical forests of southern and central India, and has been linked with significant blood glucose lowering. Some studies in animals have even reported regeneration of islet cells and an increase in beta cell function. Mamardica charantia Mamardica charantia goes under a variety of names and is native to some areas of Asia, India, Africa and South America. Marketed as charantia, it is also known as corella or corolla and bitter melon. The herb may be prepared in a variety of different ways, and may be able to help diabetics with insulin secretion, glucose oxidation and other processes. Acute effects on blood glucose levels have also been reported. Osimum Sanctum Osimum Sanctum is an herb employed in traditional Ayurvedic practices, and is commonly known as holy basil. A controlled clinical trial showed a positive effect on postprandial and fasting glucose and experts predict that the herb could enhance the functioning of beta cells, and facilitate the insulin secretion process. Opuntia streptacantha Opuntia streptacantha is commonly known as the prickly pear cactus in the arid regions where it grows. Inhabitants of the Mexican desert have traditionally employed the plant in glucose control. Intestinal glucose uptake may be affected by some properties of the plant, and animal studies have found significant decreases in postprandial glucose and HbA1c. Once again, to validate the prickly pear cactus as an effective means of aiding diabetic patients, long-term clinical trials are needed. Syllabum marianum Syllabum marianum is also known as milk thistle, and is a member of the aster family. Silly marin contains high concentrations of flavonoids and antioxidants, some of which may have a beneficial effect on insulin resistance. The role of milk thistle in glycemic control is little understood. Trigonella phonum Greekum Trigonella phonum Greekum is known as fenugreek and is widely grown in India, North Africa, and parts of the Mediterranean. It is also a part of Ayurvedic treatment, and is used extensively in cooking. Of the few non-control trials that have been carried out on type 2 diabetics, most report improved glycemic control. Further study is certainly warranted.